Good evening and welcome to the Whiskey Lover Society with me Gert Retief. and tonight we have something special and this is going to be my first independent bottling and it is from Gordon McPhail so I'm quite looking forward to tasting what they can offer. So a little bit on the bottle this is a Gordon McPhail independent bottler it is uh, from the McPhail collection Bell Blair 10 year old. It is a single malt. It is from the Bell Blair distillery from the Highland region of Scotland. 10 years old, bottled at 43% ABV, chill filtered, natural color, matured for 10 years in American oak oaks heads, and it retails for about 40 euros on average for a bottle. So on the Bell Blair 10 year old, I'm just going to give it a pour. Nosing notes, some tasting notes, uh, the finishing notes, a score, and I'm going to give my final thoughts on it. So on the nose, cheers. Wow, it, it is absolutely fantastic. It has got a sweet, light floral, maybe a little bit of a fruity flavors coming out. It is a little bit of a citrus note as well. Wow, that's nice. And the first thing that I also get is something that's very strange. I don't think I've ever had it on a, on a whiskey, but it reminds me so much of a strawberry fizzer. It's a nice sweet, I'm not sure if you get it here in Europe. I will put a picture up what it looks like. But it, it is so similar to uh, uh, the fizzers, the strawberry, strawberry flavored fizzer. Also got a little bit of a white sweet, uh, white wine note. A little bit of a vanilla note coming out. Mm, and some fruity flavors, something quite similar to the Asian pear. Fantastic. Only bottled at 43%, so um, not a lot of alcohol on the nose. Even if I do agitate a little bit, I don't get much of the alcohol notes. Really nice, pleasant, soft on the nose. On the taste. Cheers. This is nice. So I get the sweetness. I get a toffee note, a caramel note. It's a little bit of an oily mouthfeel to it. I do get a little bit of a citrus note as well. Maybe a hint of a pineapple. There's a little bit of an alcohol note to it. Um, not excessive uh, amount of um, alcohol heat, but um, you do get a little bit of an alcohol tingle on the tongue, but it's quite balanced. Oh, this is fantastic. Now, I expected a little bit of oak, 10 years in ex bourbon hogshead, so quite a big barrel. So I suspect that's the reason there's not a lot of oaky tannins in it. And in fact, on the second sip, I still didn't find any of the oak in it. Mm, really nice, sweet caramel notes. Let me just give it another try. Mm. This is nice. It is a nice supper. Cheap. I think you can get it for um, I think 40 odd euros, which I think it is a, a, a good price for a 10 year old. The sweetness is there, a little bit of a honey note coming out, the fruity flavors, the pear notes are still there, really, really pleasant. Now, it seems that I've been chasing the wrong whiskey for so many years. I've always been chasing the sherry cask finish. 
um, maybe looking for the sweetness and ended ending up normally with a whiskey that is um, not really sweet but on the sweet side but too much oak I've been looking at the wrong place fantastic whiskey score wise I'm going to be quite pleasant with this one and I'm going to give it a 91 my final thoughts on this whiskey is fantastic if you see one of these bottles or for the independent bottler give it a try I'm not sure how it's going to correspond with a normal 10 year old bell blade if I can get a sample of that I will definitely buy it but this is quite special for me so definitely on uh, the nose fantastic the taste fantastic um, score quite high and I really enjoy it and I would encourage you go buy it leave a comment if you have tasted it did you like it as well and um, let's talk whiskey and remember like and subscribe and I see you next time cheers